poetry lovers and poetry curious, here we are at the final poet poem in the Penguin Anthology of 20th Century American Poetry that I am going to read to you. And we will move on to other things. Alrighty, so I'm going to read to you a poem by Annie Finch. Uh, so Annie Finch is known as being a formalist, a new formalist. It looks like this poem is a free verse, so it's not like she sticks to that, but she celebrated poetic form at a time when it was considered icky poo and old-fashioned, and she was one of the people who helped bring it back to life. She kind of staked her position that it was not bad, it was not stuffy, there's nothing wrong with writing in form. But then, of course, she just did her own thing. You know, whether you want to write in form or you don't want to write in form. In any case, uh, I'm going to read this poem to you, and then I will read to you about her. This poem um, is not perfect Anglo-Saxon verse, but it is definitely using Anglo-Saxon alliteration as its form. And probably some other aspects. I'm not sure. There Anglo-Saxon verse has a number of different things it does, but in particular the alliteration is what was immediately going, oh, she's, she's playing with Anglo-Saxon verse right here. So this is titled, Another Reluctance. Chestnuts fell in the charred season, fell finally finding room in air to open their old cases. So they gleam out from the gold leaves in the dusk now where they dropped down. I go watch them waiting for winter, their husks open and holding on. Those rusted rims are rigid hard and cling clean to the clear brown. And the fall sun sinks soon, and the day draws to its dark end, and the feet give up the gray walk, no longer lingering, light gone. And I am here, and do not go home. Hollow gifts to cold children. The chestnuts they hid in small caches have gone hollow, their gleam gone, their grain gone, and the children are home. Yeah, it's cool that she has taken on this form, because it can be really hard to find examples of this, contemporary examples of this. So I think it's, um, it's cool that she has written this, and it is something that then could be pointed to, a contemporary poem using that. All right, Annie Finch grew up in Rochelle, New Rochelle, New York. She attended Yale University, the University of Houston, and Stanford, Stanford University. Since 2004, she has been teaching at the University of Southern Maine. Among her, her poetry books are the Encyclopedia of Scotland, 1982, Eve, 1997, Calendars, 2003, Shadow Bird, 2009, and Among the Goddesses, an Epic Librato in Seven Dreams, 2010. She has also written verse dramas and several textbooks on craft, yes, um, as I was saying, formal craft, particularly, yes, formal prosody. <laughs> Her honors include a fellowship from the Black Earth Institute and the Robert Fitzgerald Prosody Award. Annie Finch lives in Maine. So there's Annie Finch. Last poet and poem I'm going to read to you from this The Penguin Anthology of 20th Century American Poetry edited by Rita Dove. We can all be thankful to Rita Dove for this. I think she did a wonderful job of including um, many worthwhile and some kind of neglected poets across the entire span of the 20th century. All right, everybody, take care, and I will see you again soon, because I've got other poetry here.
the poetry books that I intend to read to you from. Take care. Bye-bye.